A shocking incident recently unfolded at the Royal Sussex Hospital in Brighton, where a surgeon resorted to using a Swiss army knife instead of a scalpel during an emergency procedure. This unusual occurrence took place amidst growing concerns surrounding the university hospital's Sussex NHS Trust, which is already under scrutiny for alleged medical negligence. The surgeon, who has not been publicly named, was performing an urgent procedure on a patient in cardiac arrest when he could not locate a sterile scalpel. Desperate and pressed for time, he used his personal Swiss army knife, normally used for cutting fruit, to open the patient's chest. While the patient survived the emergency, this decision has raised serious concerns within the medical community and the hospital itself. The trust stated that the situation was an emergency outside the typical operating theater setting, but acknowledged that the surgeon's actions fell well outside standard medical practices. This alarming episode is compounded by ongoing investigations into the University Hospital's Sussex Trust. The trust has been facing a separate police investigation into potential criminal negligence, including gross negligence manslaughter, connected to over 100 cases between 2015 and 2021. These cases include deaths and accusations of poor care, leaving the trust under immense pressure. Medical experts were quick to criticize the surgeon's actions. Professor Graham Poston, a former consultant surgeon and expert witness in clinical negligence, expressed his astonishment, pointing out that a Swiss army knife is not sterile or suited for medical procedures. He emphasized that this kind of instrument is not appropriate for surgery, raising questions about why essential surgical tools were not immediately available in such a critical situation. The case has sparked further investigations into the trust's operations. Internal documents revealed that the surgeon's colleagues were shocked by the use of the penknife and questioned how the situation reached such a point. The surgeon's history of questionable practices has also come to light, including three low-risk surgeries within two months, where all patients died shortly after. The trust is now cooperating with police and health authorities as investigations intensify. A previous review by the Royal College of Surgeons highlighted a culture of fear at the trust, where concerns about patient safety have been reported. Several whistleblowers have pointed to unnecessary patient deaths and a breakdown in management and safety protocols, leading to the current crisis. In light of the ongoing inquiries, Sussex police have added staff to their investigation teams. The Department of Health and Social Care has also commented, stating that these incidents are being taken seriously and must be thoroughly investigated. This disturbing episode underscores the deepening issues at the University Hospital's Sussex Trust which has already been struggling with a series of controversies. Hospital management has vowed to address the challenges and ensure that such events do not repeat themselves, with promises of better communication, enhanced training, and improved processes. However, for many, this latest incident highlights a much larger problem within the trust, one that calls for urgent reform and accountability. Stay subscribed for more videos.